So I'm making this video because about one or two months ago I thought about getting into photo printing. So I did some research and it got pretty intimidating seeing the kinds of things professionals would recommend or suggest that you need to get a great picture. I should premise this by saying that I'm not a professional photographer or printer. That being said, I did get really good results at a shockingly affordable price. So I'm going to show some examples of quality you can expect to get, at what price point you can achieve this, and what I found from my research that I think would be really helpful to you. So I spent a couple days researching printers and I found that not all inkjet printers are designed with photo printing specifically in mind. So you want to look for a cheap photo printer that printing websites reviewed positively specifically for that. I got the Canon PIXMA IP7220, and the weird thing is it has terrible reviews on the Canon website. I found by reading the reviews that it actually printed amazing pictures, but most customers didn't understand what they were buying. People seemed dissatisfied because it printed slowly and it ate a lot of ink, which sounds like they should have bought a laser printer since they print faster and are amazing with ink consumption. The printer ended up printing incredible quality, offered borderless printing, and setup was easy as could be. And it was extremely cheap. Now the reason I mention this is that you can find a great printer on sale sometimes because it was a great printer for your purpose, but it gets low ratings because most people don't spend time researching before they buy and try it out. Now this printer was $100 Canadian on sale for $60. Bucks. The ink is really expensive to replace, but if you search on Amazon you can find really high quality, high rated, no name ink for ridiculously cheap prices. So if someone tells you that you need to spend three or $400 on a printer to get high quality, that's not really true. I played guitar for a few years and I found I started developing an ear that made me critique slightly off-tuned instruments that most people wouldn't notice or care about. So if you're a pro or you really have an eye for detail, then getting professional grade stuff is obviously better. But don't let it deter you from trying this out as a hobby, because nowadays the quality photos you can get from a smartphone and a cheap printer would probably please most people. Now the last thing that concerned me was software. You can get Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom for a pretty good price, but again, if you're just getting started and you don't want to invest too much money, there are free photo editing softwares like GIMP that you can use to practice and learn the basics of photo editing. Finally, make sure you print your photos on photo paper. The paper is still pretty cheap. I bought some Canon photo paper on Amazon. Just wait for a sale. And I found a checkout. They even removed like 20 or 25% off the price for something called Canon Savings. It ended up being something like 30 or 40 cents per 8.5 by 11 inch page. Now this video is not to say that professionals are useless or that they won't get far better quality than a cheap printer and inexperienced photo editor. They will. The main point I'm trying to get across is don't let intimidating articles talk you into thinking you can't make this a viable entry hobby for a cheap price if you're not sure if you want to get into this or not.